make sure you like this video, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the best weapons to get from the new vendors here post patch in Age of Triumph, guys. This is so hyped. There's so many great things that came up. If you haven't seen the Destiny 2 teaser trailer, make sure you check that out. It's on our channel. You can go ahead and take a look at it. It's freaking killer and two days later we're gonna get the full reveal it's gonna be awesome and then you guys know that legendary marks actually mean a lot now because these vendors are gonna be rotating every single week with new weapons and armor so we went ahead and went and got the best weapons and armor for you guys to get and we're gonna be talking about the weapons here in this video and keep in mind we're gonna be doing this every single week along with many other awesome videos so make sure you guys subscribe and like this video for more so here we go let's start off with the Vanguard we have and we're gonna do it by category the first one would be the pulse rifle the parthian shot is such a great pulse rifle to get you guys if you see us carrying trials of osiris every single weekend every day trials is live we do so so you guys can check that out in our live stream you know that we use this weapon this weapon is of the gods weapons it's so freaking good another thing what we want to talk about is the continental auto rifle it's a great auto rifle i gotta just find it here there it is it has the close and or personal perk on it meaning that if you can land just one measly bullet on your opponent your melee is going to do 25 percent more damage that's a great auto rifle to use as well i made a video on that a lot of you guys liked it so make sure you pick that up if you haven't and then the next thing is the teacup sidearm now this sidearm isn't the best of all sidearms but if you really wanted to get one this one is really good it plus it does have range finder so that's one thing to keep in mind and that's pretty much all we have here for vanguard let's move on over to future war cult show you guys the weapons that future war cult has and that we say that you guys should get keep in mind it rotates every single week so i would write these down and just make it an effort to get these weapons every week you can definitely do so just gotta grind those legendary marks oh i have a package i didn't even know uh let's get a uh, future war cult weapons all right didn't really want any of that shit okay so for future war cult what you want to get is the wormwood uh where is it right here get this weapon the sidearm it's one of the best sidearms in the game if you guys don't already know i would definitely recommend it the next thing you want to get is the scout rifle which is called the wounded this scout rifle is actually really cool as well it has some good perks in this week's rollout so check that out as well in the future war cult and go ahead and get that now let's move on over to the crucible headquarter master whatever the hell his bullshit his name is it's gonna be a long ass walk from here guys but as we walk there make sure that if you guys want to get a free trials of osiris or free raid carry that you follow us on twitter because we are going to be doing weekly raffles there as soon as we hit 5,000 sub uh, not subscribers 5,000 followers on twitter so make sure you guys hit that um if you guys couldn't already tell this is a live commentary so usually most of mine are here we go with the crucible quartermaster what we're going to be talking Talking about here is the yes god infamous gotta say infamous right the palindrome this is so ugh, look at this icarus outlaw rifled don't really care about high cal and then you have reactive reload this is a weapon of the gods now keep in mind oh it has sure shot as well okay yeah you gotta pick this up if you don't have it you pick it up now hand cannons do really need range finder and this one doesn't have one but i'm sure in mid to close range combat you're still gonna do work my friends trust me i gotta pick up these bounties for later and then oh one more thing from the crucible guy here is the event horizon that's also a great great high impact sniper rifle and look at the perks on it guys um hit in hand explosive round snapshot underdog perfectionist uh and it also doesn't have the best scope but hawkeye could be all right but the perks on it are really really good so i would really use this for pve uh and the last one let's just talk about the new monarchy because i know some of you guys like to rep that new monarchy we'll talk about a weapon that we think you should get this week from new monarchy and uh and that's it guys yeah i do have my flaming head so shout out to the nightfall for uh, giving out flaming heads again 
uh, gives you a little bit boost for your uh, ranking up system and everything in Destiny. So that's definitely something that you want to also go ahead and take care of right away. And let's just talk about the last weapon here for New Monarchy. And that would be the Assembly 2, which is an auto rifle. It's We're a great auto rifle, guys. There. Definitely would. Oh, I don't want to accept that yet. Uh, let's see here. There it is right here. Has that stability perk on it, which definitely helps out a lot. Actually has double stability perks on it, which helps out a lot. Quick draw if you needed it. Flared Magwell as well. Spray and play. It's not the best, but it's not bad at all. And Sure Shot IS, which is a great, great scope to have. So go ahead and get those weapons if you haven't. And we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Some more awesome videos coming out as well as raid challenge tutorials guides and all around help from tko gaming i love you guys so much make sure to hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one peace